Hey guys, it's Kathy here, and I'm back with a remake of an album that I did last summer, and it's one of my favorites. And I now have the PDF tutorial of this album in my Etsy shop. So much scrap. Um, this one uses the Kane Company Tim Coffee Travel Collection, and the best thing about this is that this uh, whole collection is pretty much still available in the stores. So I'll go ahead and get started with this. I'm not. I'm gonna move fairly fast through it since I already have a video and the I've made a few changes of it and that's why I wanted to um, show it to you again as new product has become available over the past year I wanted to add that into this new one so I'll show you the the slight changes that I've made to this so I used the burlap on the spine again I added a few different charms from last time these I all I think I picked all of these up at Michael's and I used a Tim Holtz ring fastener there and I think that's what it was designed for so I wanted to use that this time. The cover pretty much stayed the same. I added just a few extra little embellishments. I have this Tim Holtz metal compass here and the metal photo corners. And then on the closure they came out, Tim Holtz has these new buckles and they're just perfect. It's really what I was going for on the earlier one but they weren't out yet on the market. So I have the same embossed uh, leather band. Well it's not the same but same uh, idea and I just love the way these work these are perfect so go ahead and get into this no real big changes on the first couple of pages this is the photo mat with a little gatefold feature and it just opens up and then you got the inside and the back on the second page I added an extra shell on there and I used dimensional adhesive on a lot of the embellishments in this album this time for a little added interest. And of course there's the magnets. All of the pages have the double pockets and some have the double flaps and some don't. But the tutorial goes through everything, the front cover, um, all of the different features. There's a double slider feature and a waterfall flip and the accordion fold, so there's a lot of different things in this one. So on here I added a few extra little die cuts and dimensional adhesive on some of the shells. On the next page I added these little coral die cuts for a little extra pop of color and I've used where a lot of the time I use the regular die cuts I use the dimensional chipboard on this one. So the big difference with this waterfall feature on the previous one, the way that it's designed is that there's, the paper goes over this fold and the problem is that when you put your photos on there, they're going to bang. I added a little decorative strip there on the top to kind of solve that problem. So and that's the change there. And then the little tags here on the side again that pull out. So open that. The next page, um, this feature pretty much stayed the same. There's the tag that pulls out from the pocket here. And I use the dimensional chipboard again on this one. And then it opens up with a magnet closure and lots of room for photos there. Um, on this page, I just used the chipboard sea turtle here and added a shell. And I changed the vellum border strip there on the side. And then the tags again. And then this page stayed the same, and the large photo mat that pulls out. And then on the double slider feature, I think this one just stayed the same. And of course it pulls out like this, and those are nice and large for photos there. And then the added thing with this one is, it's hard to do that one-handed, this opens up, and then there's room for more photos there on the inside. And then on these pages, again, the magnet flaps, the little tags that pull out. Sorry if I'm moving through this really fast. This, I've used some dimensional adhesive again, and I added a few extra die cuts on that page. And then the accordion fold. Um, I made a few adjustments maybe with the papers that I've used. This one, I, I used the Coastal Times inside of this, and then that, and then more tags again on the side and on this one I think I changed the papers on the tag here just to have a little bit more color peeking out from the top there and then this opens and I used uh, different papers here and some more beach related um, stamps inside and then the big change on the lighthouse page um, the 
original album, I used the top of the lighthouse that went to this lighthouse. Um, it was a little complicated to do that, and it was proving to be a little difficult um, for tutorial purposes. But, you know, I made the change to the other lighthouse, and actually, I, I prefer this one better. I think that that little pop of red up there adds a little bit more interest to the page. And then I added a chipboard seagull here to this. And again, a magnet flap. And then the tags. It's funny how, you know, over the course of a year, um, your tastes, you know, change a little bit, or you just get, you know, different ideas of, oh, I wish I would have done it this way. So I made a few little changes here and there. That page actually stayed just the same. And then on this one, papers on the tag changed. I wanted a little pop of red there at the top. And I added, I think, a few extra little shells and dimensional adhesive down here, and then still used the Tim Holtz fastener and a magnet, and just changed the interior papers there. So, and then the back, I used this uh, teal colored paper. I'm going to display this album in my bedroom, and my, my color scheme in there is like the teal blues and whites, and um, so I thought that this would really go nicely. And then, of course, the metal photo corners, and the closure pretty much stayed the same on the back. So, there it is, and I hope you've enjoyed it, and thanks for watching.